Hello friends, welcome to our channel Learn with Feelings. In this video, I am going to show you how to solve algebraic equations using this Casio FX991ES Plus calculator. So first of all, let's see how many types of equations we can solve using this calculator. So here, we can see that we can solve four types of equations using this calculator. The first one is ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0. So in this equation, we can see that we have one variable x and the highest power of x is 2. Okay, then the second one is ax cube plus bx square plus cx is e plus d is equals to 0. So here in the second one, we have one variable again, but the highest power is 3. Okay, now the third type of equations we can solve is this type, where we have two equations with two variables x and y. And we can solve these kind of equations too with this calculator. And the last one is three equations having three variables. So let's see how to solve these kind of equations with this calculator. First of all, we will see where we should go to find the solutions of these equations. So first of all, what you need to do is press this mode button. Then you will get these 8 options and the option number 5 is EQN or equation. So press 5 and then you will get 4 options and these 4 options are these 4 equations or these 4 types of equations. So the first one, let's see. The first one is nx plus bny is equals to cn. So this is which kind of equation? We can see that this equation have two variables x and y and a uh, constant c. So if we compare with these equations, we can see that this is the type of equations that is the number one option so we can say that this one is the number one option of here now let's look at the number two option here you can easily see that there is three variables in this equation now let's match with these equations we can clearly see that this is the one okay so this one is the number two option now let's look at the number 3 option. The number 3 option is ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0. So this one. So this one is our number 3 option. Okay. And the last one is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equals to 0. So this is our number 4 option. So we have got it how to get these 4 types of equations. And now uh, for the first kind of equations we will have to press 3 here after coming to this option for this type of equations we will have to press 4 for this kind of equations we will have to press 1 and for this kind of equations we will have to press 2 now i will show you examples so that you can be 100 percent clear how to solve this type of equations so let's take some examples at first, we are solving this kind of equations and we have taken an example. So from here, if we compare these two equations, we can tell that uh, the value of A in this equation is 1. The value of B is equals to minus 5. You will have to remember that if there is minus here, you will have to include this minus here. Then the value of c is equals to 6. Now let's go to the calculator. Okay. First of all, you will have to press mode and then 5 for the equation, you know. Then now, as you are trying to solve this kind of equations and you will have to press 3. So let's press 3. 
and you will see this kind of things where you will have to put the values of a b and c here so let's put the values of a b c the value of a is 1 so we have pressed 1 here and then pressed equal to uh, set this value then to set the value of b we will have to uh, put the value minus 5 and to set the value we will have to press this equal sign and then the value of c is 6 so let's set it and press equal so all the values of a b c are set now and finally press this plus, uh, equal sign again and you will see the value of x1 you know that here the highest power is 2 so we will get two solution the solution number 1 or x1 is equals to 3 and then you will have to press this equal sign again so you will see x2 is equals to 2 so there is our second result so these are our solutions for this equation now let's move on to another example now we want to solve this kind of equation this is the equation we have taken and this is this kind of equation so we will have to press 4 when we will go to the equation now first of all we need to find the values of a b c and d so let's find those values a is equals to 3 here we can see the value of b is equals to 1 now what is the value of c there is no uh, x component here so the value of c is equals to 0 and then the value of d is equals to minus 1 now let's go to the calculator now to solve this equation we will have to press 4 here so let's press 4 now you will see again there will arrive a b c and there will be d also uh, so first set the value of a that is 3 so we have set the value of a 3 and then pressed equal sign the value of b is 1 so we will press 1 and equal sign the value of c is 0 and we will press equal sign and then you will see here will be another thing that is d now so you can put the value of d here so that is minus 1 okay so that's equal and press equal again and now you will get the value of x1 here and press equal again you will get the value of x2 here and this is a, a very tough value we have got because we have randomly picked a equation that's why and then press equal and you will find another value of x3 now why you have got three answers because the highest power is three that's why you have got three answers here now let's move on to the third type of equations now we have the third type of equations so we have two equations with two variables and let look here in the second equation the constant is in the left side so you will have to uh, take it into the right side so we will do this 5x plus 7y is equals to now we are taking it into the right side so we can write that is equals to 6 so now we will press the number one option here to solve these kind of equations now I don't need this one okay I don't need this one I will solve it from this and this okay so press one number one option and see you will get two lines and a two set of uh, Equ uh, numbers you can give as input because you have two equations now let's start putting the values the value of a1 here is 2 so we can put this 2 and equal so the value of a1 is set now the value of b1 is minus 3 so you will have to be careful with this minus the value is minus 3 so minus 3 equal so the value is set and the value of the constant is 9 so press 9 and when you will press the equal you will come to the second line 
and now you can put the values of this equation so the value of uh, a2 is 5 here press equal and then the value of b2 is 7 so press 7 and then the value of the constant is 6 now press equal then all the values are set and then again press equal so you will get answers and this is the value of x so the value of one variable we have got here now we need to know the another value of the another variable so press this equal again and now you have got the value of y also so that's how we have to solve the third type of equations and let's move on for the fourth kind of equations now this is the last one and we can see that here are three equations with three variables so we'll have to press the second option here so press 2 now you can see you have got three lines for three set of numbers for these uh, equations to be solved and these three variables to be solved I should say now press the value of a1 b1 c1 and d1 first so you are in the first line here so press 4 here the value of a1 and press equal then press minus 3 and equal then press minus 7 and when you press equal you will find the d option also and so press 11 here and then when you will uh, press this equal sign you will come to this second line here so press 5 and then 2 here and then 11 and at last it's 9 and you press the equal and you are now in the third line just press 1 then again 1 we have and then we have minus 1 here so minus 1 and the last value of d is 2 now press equal so all the values are set and you can see here are three variables in these three equations so we will get three results from here so press equal so we have got the answer of our first variable x and then press equal so we have the value of y here and then press equal we have the value of z so this is how we can solve these kinds of equations too if you find this video useful, please share and like this video and subscribe our channel to get more videos like this. Thank you very much everyone.